New details now as investigators say a dump truck driver was on drugs when he crashed into an ODOT worker, leading to this massive explosion. We've been following this story since it first broke in May. Since six, our Jim Nelson has looked into the brand new charges. These charges are months in the making. This was a long investigation. We're also getting some good news on that ODOT worker. Stunning, scary, a dump truck slamming into a stopped ODOT truck with the worker inside. That giant fireball erupting over I-77 in the city of Green. This was one of the most horrific accidents involving an ODOT employee that I've ever seen in my life. ODOT District 4 Deputy Director Jerry Nero says 162 ODOT workers have been killed on the highways over the years. This could have been 163. Now the driver of the dump truck, Gregory Pree, is facing a felony charge, aggravated vehicular assault. The Summit County Sheriff's Office says Pree had cocaine and amphetamines in his system, amounting to an OBI charge. This was just before 7 a.m. May 12th. This is obviously a unique situation in that you have that OVI element with it, but it's a good reminder of just how dangerous the roads can be. Just ask any of these truckers. Some idiots. They just fly even if they can go, they don't. They just go and you go like this close from you. Boom. Dangerous. It is. That's why ODOT stresses this so much. Slow down, move over. It's the law. More than 100 ODOT vehicles have already been hit this year. No court dates for Pre just yet. He, along with the ODOT employee, was injured in the crash. But as bad as this could have been, there is good news on that highway worker. He is still not 100%, but he is healing. Someone was truly looking over him that day. Certainly the choices we all make have consequences. We can all do our part. Along I-77, Jim Nelson, 19 News.